Hello, oh. welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. Are we on? We are. We baby. are. I'm Michael Mandel, and you saw the title. Hopefully, if you're watching, uh, Blackthorn and the Las Cruces uh, Game Con. Game Con. So we're which gonna will be the, on the second half of the show. We're going to do the Blackthorn first, which is a cocktail. Which, yes. And, and then coming up uh, after the break, we're going to sit down and talk with uh, Mario Salceda about the Game Con. Las which Cruces is Game why, Con. why these things are here. We don't know what these are because we'll we're out. too young, old to know what these things are. So we're going to make a drink, a pre uh, St. Patrick's Day drink because it has uh, Irish whiskey. So we use an uh, ounce of uh, Kilbegan we have here. You know, this is a good weekend to, <clears throat> this might inspire you to go out and get your uh, booze because. It's always on sale. No, it's not always it's, on sale. It's not always on it sale. It wasn't last year, really. Walgreens? I've been asking Walgreens if they're going to have uh, Irish whiskey on sale for St. Patrick's Day. And they say, well, they don't know. we don't know because that's corporate now. We used to they do it. They don't know. Now corporate does it. So don't expect it. Oops. But uh, maybe uh, maybe some other place that sells alcohol. Maybe like Kelly Liquors. Kelly, that's a good Irish name. That's a good way. Yeah. So maybe they'll have some Irish whiskeys on sale. So Irish uh, uh, whiskey, uh, one ounce. Uh, a little bit of red vermouth. In this case, it's uh, Cinzano, which is uh, always a stalwart. That's a good uh, sweet yes. vermouth. So as you see, it looks like it's turning into a Negroni. But it's not a Negroni, nor it's is it a Manhattan. Manhattan. It would be closer to a Manhattan mm -hmm. this way. Yes, and if, speaking of Cinzano, if you don't like their uh, their vermouth, they, they make great umbrellas. That's true. They they and uh, Martina Rossi, they all do it. And uh, what I think turns this into the Blackthorn drink is um, here. This. Take a look at that. Van Gogh. He was absinthe. known for drinking absinthe uh, that perhaps or perhaps was not. That play is going on right now, I think. Um, made him go mad. Was, it didn't make him go. He was insane. That's why, I, I mean, and it didn't keep him from going mad. Let's just say that. So well, It didn't uh, keep him from going sane a, either. A quarter, it didn't make him sane. So a quarter of absinthe. Roughly speaking. Roughly speaking. And uh, absinthe is an ancient drink. We love it. You know, absinthe was illegal here in America from about uh, 1910 to about 2008, mm -hmm. as well as it was in Europe, except for Portugal. Why? Because it had too much alcohol? No, because there was an argument that people were going crazy. It had a point. It had thujol, which is a hallucinogenic. Yeah, and that's why they said, uh, 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 "I got it." Van Gogh went crazy. Well, they probably don't have it in there anymore, right? I'm sure they found a way to. No, there's a way you do it because it's made with wormwood, but that should. Yeah, matter. wormwood, right? That's what yeah. I was trying to think of. Um, and that's why it has that taste that uh, you, you adore. Absinthe has. Yeah. Well, absinthe has a taste the same as uh, Galliano and other things. Oh, let's hope not. Let's hope not. Yes, you know how I hate licorice. So, is that because of a bad situation when you were a child? And a guy, guy gave you licorice and he took you to his house? Yeah, 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 one yeah. of those things. You can't find his I pocket. would think you got to separate yourself. That's what drinking's for, it, so you can forget your past. No, when I was a child, I had to drink this awful yellow medicine that tasted like licorice. And I, I almost threw up every time I took it. And ever since then, I could not even smell licorice. Well, you have to readapt those. And Ooh, now it's probably going to be this, good that color, way this good drink. color. Just put a little bit, Mike. Just a little bit. And all I'm uh, doing right. is tasting it. You call what? that a taste? For you, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's nothing. That's a sniff. Um, okay. Is that going to be enough? Well, I'll let Cheers. you know. The reason I'm not drinking like Michael is because I'm opening up in a play this weekend, and I, I dare not drink before a show. I'm he, just basically sniffing it. He can't even remember his lines for this show. So That's true. And we make it Oh, up that's the name of the play, up. Enemy of the People. And we'll get to that later. Yes. Oh. Interesting. Um, I'm kind of glad I didn't have as much as you Mellow. Have. That's Mellow. all I want of that. You can definitely taste the absinthe. Yeah. It's a... Uh, oh, yeah. But it's not licorice-y. It's licorice -y a little It's got a finish to it. Yeah. Anyway, it's something different. Uh, it is. Next week. You sure there's still bacon in there. <laughs> you had the same problem with the, uh, the Girl Scout cookie. There wasn't enough vodka in it. Um, it should be all vodka, no cookie. I don't, well, you like to have confection in your cocktails now, Michael. That's a I like uh, taste uh, other than what the inherent well, taste Next is. week, I'm going to have patty uh, Irish whiskey and angel food cake. It'll be a um, patty, patty cake. <laughs> oh, are we going to mix that patty together? Cake. That would be good. We'll pour it on an angel food cake. Let pa it soak patty in. Patty cake, yes. Patty cake. Well, next week, if we do the Irish whiskey, 
if we do the show a different day, you'll be able to drink, won't you? If we do it on Thursday. Yes. Not, oh. that, not that this isn't live, because <laughs> no. it isn't. We take the show on different days of the week. Yes. Today is But uh, Friday. we'll have Colbeck in left. I have a little Michael Collins. I think I'll get one or two others, maybe. Michael Collins, is it? Mm. Well, you're not going to be here next week, are you? Yeah, I am. You will? Okay, good. Yeah. Well, oh, we have news about stuff. Do we? That, you call we that news? we got to talk about. You call that news? You, what well, with, uh, you know, the stripper in, uh, in, the, new, in the White House. Yeah. With uh, Korea wanting to talk to us. Uh, you're going to talk oh. about the Bulldogs. Well, that's local news, baby. Uh, congratulations to the Las Cruces Bulldogs for making it as far as they did in the state championship. They made it to one notch below state champ. I mean, they, they one, lo- one notch below the game to determine that would make state them champion. Champ. They were number two in the state going in, and they're still number two, or now three, I guess. Well, it's always you got to do that. Only one person gets the top, and that's, that's right. how it works. I well, think. you know, I'm a usually old, it's Norway. I'm an old bulldog myself. Yeah. And uh, so, anyway. I'm not even going to comment on anyway, that. Anyway, congratulations to the Bulldogs for doing what they did. They worked their, their butts off, and, and, uh, and uh, everybody's mm. glad they did. Thanks, guys. Now, you know what? You were on the team, right? Oh, I was the team. Oh. I was the quarterback, and then I'd run down the field and catch my own pass. And you got a quarterback. I, I was good. That. Yeah, okay. So, oh, what else is our No, we had an election really? last week. Not here, but the towns of Hatch and Mesilla had elections. Hatch, they were electing mayors. And they voted their old mayors in. New boss, same as the old boss. It was exactly the old boss. At right. least that means that you have the same type of boss. Here you have the exact same boss. Yeah. And the, the guy from uh, Hatch, he's Andy, like 86 years old. Andy Nunez was re-elected mayor yes. of Hatch. He, used to he be started state as a Democrat. He started as a Democrat, became an independent, then became a Republican. He doesn't know what he wants. It doesn't really matter when you're in a town of 400 right. people. He'll go either way. Well, there's 1,600 people there. 1,600. Yeah, and he, wow. and he won with uh, 75 votes, I think it was. <laughs> See, that's like a town of 400 where only 75 people vote. I mean, if yeah. you have that many people, more people should and, go. And then in Mesilla, uh, Nora Barraza was re-elected to the mayor there. And she hasn't been in that long. She's been in one term. That's her first term, I so, do believe. I think she's doing pretty good. And so, I don't know how Andy Nunez is doing. I mean, because they must like Hatch, him. Hatch is still Hatch. He and probably Hatch, is. He's friends with everybody. I mean, with fourteen hundred people in town, he's had to have drinks with at least seven hundred people. Well, Messia is an ongoing tourist uh, attraction. Hatch, one day of the year, tourist attraction. Yeah, pretty much. Or detraction. <laughs> have you ever been to that thing? Oh yeah, it's really. Windy. Oh yeah, I've been to it. It's, it's, it has, yeah, it's coming. Well, I'm, I'm mumbling because I don't on, want um, them to uh, di- not Memorial Day, stop the Hatch usually. Chili's from coming. No, no, Can't and be um, them. now Karen Trujillo is running for office. And I have her. What do, what do you know about her? She, she's running for county. Why are you mentioning her? Oh, because is there anybody else? She's doing commissioner that? for the district in which this studio takes is exists. Michael. Oh. And, so this uh, is all your personal news. And her husband was my insurance agent for a while when I was with We have no Farm. connection to anything here. <laughs> it's a small town, you know. Oh, you were in the state pen? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so anyway, she's a director for the Alliance for the Advancement of Teaching and Learning at the College of Education at NMSU. She's seeking the Democratic nomination for District 5 of the County mm-hmm. Commission. She has a PhD Ooh. in Curriculum and Instruction at NMSU. So um, let's see. Now, she, when she gets in there... She will. She's filling oh, what is the big? seat. I'm that, just hiding here. Uh, well, she's running against the District Five candidate. Now, there's that? already an empty seat. The governor, oh, Martinez, we, is going to fill. Assign somebody. So the, the, there will be one more Democrat on uh, on the board soon enough. You know, the governor's not going to appoint a Democrat. No. No. I wonder why. We so do anyway, why. that's that's the news about her running for office. Good luck to her. Cool. Now you know there's going to be a new downtown starting to pick up. By the way. There's going to be a new uh, that's dis- true. brewery, distillery downtown. The city just approved their liquor license. So now all, all they have to do is have the state to prove it. Little Toad Creek. Little Toad Creek. They're out of uh, Silver City. Yep. And so they're going to open up their sef- second uh, location. So here. what does that make? Uh, is that our fourth brewery in town or fifth? fifth I think it's fifth. At least. We have five breweries. But they're a distillery, too. They make their own spirits. That's true. Well, that's cool. interesting. But you don't hear about them. No. Santa Fe has a, their own spirit maker. Mm-hmm. Um who else? And That's a lot about of, it. A lot of places do. Mm-hmm. Now, they're going to be right downtown, right next to where Zia Comics is moving in uh, shortly. That's pretty good. And so, who else is moving in there? So, um, be a lot of people sitting in, in uh, Little Toad reading comics, right? What else could you do when you're 
having beer. Maybe they'll have well, uh, Coles bookstores beers, one block that way. So. They'll have beers named after uh, uh, cartoon characters. <laughs> so uh, that's, maybe that's even looking Mario. Up. They, they may get their liquor license if they're waiting on the state. Oh, maybe sometime this this time next year. Uh, hey, you know Albuquerque. Is, I do. There's a bunch of people on the city council in Albuquerque who have decided that it's a good idea, and they put forth a resolution to decriminalize marijuana within the state, city limits of Albuquerque. Whereby, um, if you're caught with, I don't know, less than two ounces, it's a $25 ticket. And wow. No jail time or any of that nonsense. And then they put something on your back and they track you and they find out who your dealer is. Well, as, as it is, you can get, uh, you know, pretty medicinal marijuana up there. Most people, if you have anxiety, uh, you can get it. If you have back pain, and look, between back pain and anxiety, that pretty much is everybody. If you don't have back pain, you're wondering, when am I going to get back pain? No, but the so problem, you're anxious about the that. The problem is, you have to sign up with the state. They have to issue you a card. And you have to pay for that sign oh, up. Yes, you do. You don't have to do any of that for opioids or morphine. You just go and get it from the pharmacist. You don't have to do any but of that. But marijuana, to get it. which but isn't at all addictive or harmful, yeah, you have to join the state you, you registry. Don't, you don't even have to do that to buy a gun. That's true. I mean, you could get what? Opioids? You can buy a gun cheaper and quicker than you can get a. Marijuana. Oh, yeah. Or opioids. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes they go together. Absolutely. So. Unless you're in, you know, senior in high school. Well, I just went. What's uh, that? This week I went to, and, and you do, I toured you've the been new movie so studio. busy, haven't you been? This has been a busy week for you. No yeah. wonder you have to keep rehearsing. You don't have time to have a little drink. Oh, well, you want some more? I've got time. No. Uh, so Las Cruces has a new film studio. Well, they have a facility for a film studio. Right now it's a big empty warehouse. Well, it's, it's a big empty warehouse, the old Coca-Cola bottling plant. That's all the studio is, a big house. Big empty with high ceilings. You've um, been haranguing for this for years, yeah, for and, the last 20 and years. And I'm thrilled to see it here now. Uh, it's a good facility. Um, it's as good as any warehouse facility I've seen anywhere. And isn't it true that you pulled strings with your connections in Atlanta to get Coke to uh, <laughs> let us have it? Oh, they don't is own that it what anymore. you did? They no uh, longer own it. It's uh, just a building. It's an empty building. It was used to make uh, radiators for, for bulldozers after that. Oh, that's a good thing. And uh, so now, yeah, it's being, being put to good use. Well, I won't get a lot of use for a while because... Uh, they got to keep working. I wouldn't be surprised if it's two or three years before a real movie shows up to use it. Yes, yeah, so you need somebody to pay you to use it, right? Well, that's, yeah. up to the, that's up to Film Las Cruces to go out there and beat the bushes, attract film productions here. That's their job. So, and who's on that uh, board? Uh, film Las Cruces. Well, then we have a new guy. There's a film liaison. Right. Russ Marks is working on it. Jeff Steinborn is working on that. Yeah, right? sure. There's a, there's a committee that a lot of people are on, and uh, they hold meetings once a month. But it's the film liaison's job, really, to go out there and beat the bushes. And the whole film, film Las Cruces bunch um, to All use their guys. connections to do what they can. And we have a lot of people in town here from Hollywood. Which we can uh, bend their ear this well, yeah. weekend. This weekend, the Las Cruces Film Festival uh, is going on this weekend, and so it's good that they had the open house uh, this weekend during the film festival, so that the visiting filmmakers can see that yes, we do have a f uh, facility, and we're serious about it. And we could do uh, our own version of Breaking Bad. I mean, we are closer to the border than Albuquerque. There's a lot of tension that could be here, although this is a very nice, untense town. Well, yes, and... Uh, That's why people come here. We That's have the great outdoor here. vistas for the for the backdrops outdoors and exterior shots. It's so um, things are looking mostly up Mostly good the weather. business. Yes. Can't... Uh, and uh, you've been to a number... Of, have you been to any films this week? Uh, I, you know, you I, I'm involved in a play that's opening uh, this well, that's weekend. That's a good excuse. So I, I've only been able you to... You can uh, spend the entire day, like Saturday. Today, the film mm -hmm. festival is going to be on, right? It's on today. It's on, yes. And there's also and be seminars. On there's seminars and, uh, and meetings. You can be part of this yourself. Oh, I will be. Enemy of the People has no, That's the play Mark said. that I'm in right now. But it has on, nothing on to tonight. do with the uh, Las Cruces uh, the fe film, festival. film Festival. No. Um, that's on right now. Oh, look. Yes. And uh, that's downtown at the Las Cruces Community Theater uh, tonight, uh, tomorrow matinee, and, and two weekends after that. So we'll be talking about it, this in the coming weeks. If he ever learned his lines, he could repeat some that's true. right on this show. So stay tuned. Uh, we'll come back after this, and Mark is well, going to try to remember. What, you're going to try to remember well, your lines? I was going to mention we've got a couple of more plays to talk about. We've got but middle. that's at the end of the show. Well. Do you want to do that now? Uh, yeah, okay, let's we'll do, do it, it now. now. There's also at the Black Box the... Uh, Second weekend of Middletown. And I saw that last night and it was really good. It was it really? Yeah. I was talking to Scott Brocato last night at the party. And he said it was really good. Was it good? Is that what he said? No. 
Oh, he, didn't, he said it's a strange play. Yeah, well, uh, the uh, producer said it was so strange she didn't think it would work, but it really worked. Did it? Yeah. Good. I'm it sorry good. I missed it. Yeah. Now, also, this weekend, we next weekend is the Arts Fair, right? Next weekend? The Arts Fair, yes. The Las Cruces Arts Fair. Poster. Posters hanging back there. Can't see it because, we're, oh, there it is. You can't see it anyway. Can't read it anyway. Uh, the Arts Fair is going to be at the Convention Center uh, this coming weekend. March and, 16th uh, and 18th. You can buy tickets uh, online. And uh, I think even at Pickwick. And uh, it's got, uh, the whole convention center is loaded with different types of arts. The, uh, oh, yes, jam-packed. Yeah, this is one of the big conventions they have yes, there. Yes, which is a good segue because the weekend after that is going to be the uh, Comic-Con. Not the Comic-Con, but the Game-Con. Game Game-Con. Yeah, Game-Con. Yes. That'd be good. What else did you want to announce? Uh, oh, well, man, with people. That's Club Stores it. March Madness Sale still going on because it's still March. Yeah, ninety-five uh, up to ninety-five percent off. Will we see stuff? We'll, we'll see some ads for that during the intermission. I'm sure we will. Our intermission. So we're going to take an intermission and and get our drinks and. Uh, you want to make mix another I'll one? I'll make some more for you, and uh, you can. I'll, I'll keep the. Uh, you can just tease me with it. out of it. You can have it. Like uh, I said, Michael, well, I can't drink. Without absinthe, that turns into an Irish whiskey Manhattan. Pretty okay. much, that's I what see. it is. So all right, that'll be good. We'll be right back after Cheers. these words. Ladies and gentlemen, prepare to hold your color. Professional home cleaning service. Your satisfaction is our priority. Let us do the work so you can relax. Call us at 655-0009. Call Mark Goldstein, the safe money guy, at 575-556-2472 to learn about innovative strategies now available to help you grow, protect, and preserve your money and financial future, regardless of market conditions. And we're back. This is Las Cruces' only television show that's been on the air for eight years. This is Double Talk. I'm Mark yes. Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel, and we have... Joining us Mario. is Mario Sacena. How's it going, guys? I'm happy to be here. He's, yeah. he's the representative from the uh, Game Con. Game Con. Yeah, uh, he is the Game Con. <laughs> he's got the M. Uh, yes. Well, uh, see, my name's Mario, but the um, hey. I was born with it, so I was like... I gotta wear the hat. We can move Mario around the screen. He can jump on us and kill us. <laughs> we'll do that. So yeah. Mario agreed to try this drink, which I've just added extra Irish Actually. whiskey. To. Oh, <laughs> okay. Good. Because uh, I think it'll make it better. That probably would. Yeah. And uh, he, Mario, was here to talk about the Lost Cruises game. We're con. just distracting him. You've been now. Uh, you've been doing this for how long? Yeah, this is our uh, sixth annual Lost Cruises Game Con. But my organization, the Lost Cruises Game Nights, we've been going strong for nine years. Uh, we're a certified nonprofit 501c3. Uh, we do a lot of stuff for the community, like we we play video games with kids uh, and elderly, and even people in their 30s, 20s, video games are ageless. Do I the know, elderly play different games than the kids? You believe it, uh, but, <laughs> but, but you know, the, they play the Wii and the motion games and, you know, oh. and anything that gets them like off. Like golfing or uh, yeah. tennis or Yeah, the tennis. Like so it's it's a really, uh, it's it's an ageless um, industry. It's so, true. 
So I, I we're, we're gonna play a little game here. It's called having a drink. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't down the hatch. All right, let's try it. Wow. A little funny. Wow. Yeah, that's wow. <laughs> I need a little Making chip. A there. Lot of kill back yeah, that's why you have chips here. <laughs> Absolutely. Doing that. Now I'm pushing that. Yes. Now you you do this you do this, you do this at the Las Cruces Convention Center. I'm actually and really I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. Uh, he's it's buzzed a, now. <laughs> I'm really excited because this is the first year that we finally get to be at the Las Cruces Convention Center. So we've been jumping around. We've been at the Columbus Conference Center, at the Mearshire Recreation Center, and different years, different places. And now we finally get to have a chance to be at the actual convention center. So we have Las Cruces Game Convention at the convention center. So it's a true so, con, folks. And, and it's <laughs> a true con, as opposed okay. to a con con. <laughs> So, when, so, so this is the biggest place you could possibly do it in town. Pretty much. Right. And right. we can only get bigger from there because... No, uh, you can't. Well, uh, no, you can't. You can't get bigger. I, <laughs> I hope you don't get bigger. No, you can't. Because you can take over the entire convention center. Oh, you right. So this year we're only taking over a third of it. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, it's definitely three times as much room that we had our previous year. So we actually have a lot wow. more stuff to pack because we're trying to pack it in. So now that this year, you know, once we get our foot in the door and we blow it out of proportion and, and, and we make this event extremely successful like it's always been, uh, we can just keep making it bigger and bigger, take over the convention center, bring more special guests, you know, and grow from there. And I mean, we're not gonna go anywhere else, but I'm saying it will get bigger from there as people familiarize themselves with us being there every single year. As well as the more popular games come on. Yeah, that's right. And you get more kids into it. Now, if somebody, com old if somebody comes to the Game Con, what can they expect to see? Yeah, so like I said, uh, video games are ageless. So if you're an elderly person or or if you don't consider yourself an elderly person, you probably are. No, I'm we just are. joking. No, but <laughs> I'm just joking. But Who you else can has expect. Time to sit around at this time of day? <laughs> you can uh -huh. expect uh, the old school, the Atari 2600, uh, the arcade machines with Pac Man, Galaga. Uh, Galaxian, you know, all your favorite arcade games from the 1980s and 70s, all the way to the newest virtual reality um, PlayStation 4 and, and uh, HTC Vive, which takes over an entire room and makes it a virtual reality world. Really? Wow. Um, so really? all the advanced stuff, all the way down to the primitive, awesome classics, everything will be there for, for everyone to enjoy. So you, you have board games, you have PC games, you have uh, cosplay contests, wow. people are going to be dressing up. Uh, competitive tournaments so you know I was one of those kids that my mom you know she would see me play a game over and over and they would be like why do you keep playing that you know you need to go to school become a doctor <laughs> become a lawyer you know that's not gonna take you anywhere it's a waste of time but at the convention we give out cash prizes and then we also give out other prizes so it's kind of like you can say hey mom look I won first place and I actually made money I ah. proved you wrong you know <laughs> I mean not really but it's a, it's a, <laughs> at least you're it, honest yeah it's a stepping stone you know at, at least you can say hey I've been working so hard at this event and I've been uh, you know putting in all this effort and you get something out of it you know it's not just a waste of wow. time it's not just a hobby it's something that can you know now that esports you know electronic sports you know with um, ESPN and, and major networks picking up uh, very popular uh, multiplayer games that are giving out half a million dollars to the winner of the international mm -hmm. tournaments you know this is could be a small stepping stone where maybe somebody in Las Cruces or in the southwest that has never had a taste for an actual tournament setting this could be a place to start and that's what we offer we offer something for the competitive scene that want to prove they're the best and we also saw, offer something for the casual people that just want to go there and have a good time play some games have something to do on the weekend so that's why instead of calling it uh, Las Cruces game competition we're calling it a game convention because we, we're, we're, we're putting incorporating That's everything fair. in there. Now, will, will there be anything for sale there as well? Yeah, we, we have uh, vendors that specialize in that field. So we have vendors for comics, video games, uh, board games, um, pretty much vendors. And then we also have special cosplay guests that have a lot of followers on their social media websites like Instagram and, and, and Twitter that are going to be there. Um, just kind of showing off, you know, saying, hey, everybody, I'm going to be at this GameCon, come and get can you, some Can stuff. you buy that hat? 
Yes, you can buy this hat. You can buy this hat. You can buy a lot of stuff that I brought here with me. I brought the Mega Man Mega Buster. Wow. Uh, I brought the the Soul Stones from the Marvel Comics. Uh, my Super Nintendo Mini that I cherish, which was uh, <laughs> actually uh, over here, I believe. That that Is was that my there? first. There, yeah. yeah, this this guy right here. He, that was my first video game console ever. So when Nintendo re-released it on the Mini version, it comes with 20 games built in. You don't have to worry about. Wow. You know, blowing on the cartridge and putting it in. <laughs> you don't have to worry about any of that. You just turn it on and the games load up. Um, what's, the, what's this thing? It looks like well, that, a igloo made out of Legos. <laughs> that's yeah. that's, that's, is, that's a, a Pac-Man ghost. That oh, it, man. It, it, but it lights up. You, oh, you plug no. it into the wall and it lights up and you know, it keeps, if, if you're scared of the dark, it, it, it <laughs> Then you can be scared of Pac-Man. Oh, the ghost. Oh, the ghost. Yeah, ghost. Oh, the ghost. You have a ghost keeping you company. Yeah. So um, uh, is there any idea to know how many people you could expect to show up? I have about, uh, last year we broke the 400 mark. I want to I can't say for sure because we had 400 badges no. and we ran out. Mm -hmm. So eventually what we had to do was just kind of hang them from a piece of paper and kind of write their name on it and say, <laughs> hey, this is a badge. Yeah, they, we were running out. I love that. And you have to sign it, right? Yeah. You st let me just stamp your <laughs> Official. hand. Official. Yeah, you, exactly. You put their hand on the floor and step on it. <laughs> That's so, what I would do. So, so we broke the 400, so this year we're hoping to at least double it since we're going to be at the convention center and we're giving out so many free tickets on Facebook, on the radio. Wow. And we're giving out free tickets just for, just because we want everybody to come and have a good time. We're not in it for the money. So we're getting free tickets? That's right. I gave you free tickets course, that's for what, the arts. That's why, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's why I had, that's why I had them in my pocket. <laughs> cool. I'm just going to free tickets. Now, if you run out of free tickets and somebody's willing to pay, how much is it? So we're actually one of the cheapest conventions in the nation. Mm -hmm. We're $15 for the entire weekend. Wow. Back in the day, like eight years ago, there was this uh, video game place called Code Red. They went out of business and it was because they were charging $20 an hour to play a video Ooh. game. So, you know, imagine paying $20, you get you get to play an hour, you know, whatever game you want. Well, it's $15 for the entire weekend at the Las Cruces convention, game convention. So we're extremely cheap. We just want people to have come and have a good time, help us pay for the for the place. Because it is, even though we finally, it's our sixth annual, we got to be at the convention center. It is costing an arm and a leg. Wow. So yes, you guys just, have to come back yes. next year. And you we, mentioned uh, earlier that there's food available too. Right? That's right. We, uh, we got a, a special deal with uh, the convention center to help us be there to be able to sell concessions. So they're going to have concessions there. Oh, really? And then, they don't usually uh, we, let that happen. Right. So exactly. Last year, we actually weren't able to have uh, food and play video games. You know how it is with gamers. Yeah, yeah. You know, they want to snack on chips or a hot dog or something That's when right. they're playing a game. So this year, you actually get to play any at the same time uh, in the ballroom. Now so, we have to wrap it up because we are out of time. Folks. Yes, that, that and, thing uh, could shoot hot dogs. Thanks, right? Mario. <laughs> uh, yes. We'll see you at the GameCon. No problem. Check and us out on Facebook.com. Uh, the uh, tickets are on sale right now at Zia Comics, Zia Comics DNA Inc. and DNA. the Tacos El Borrego de Oro if you want to go and buy the tickets in person. Um, if you want to prefer to pay them online, you go to lcgamecon.org and you click on pre-register and you can uh, uh, buy the tickets there. Or you can go on our Facebook and it'll take you directly as well to buy tickets. And of course, everybody who just forgets and show up the day of, will have tickets buy at tickets. the door. Okay, well thanks folks, Good. we are Good out of time. You. We'll see you at the GameCon. See you guys, thanks for having me.